Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. My name is Michael Cornett, Associate Minister of Highland Park Missionary Baptist Church, where Reverend Byron L. Cox is our pastor. Tonight's Bible study is found in the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 14. It reads like this. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. King James Version says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I want to this Bible study I want to use as a subject for this text. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. I believe to keep on keeping on, we must have God's desire, God's dedication and God's determination. Because life is swift and changing and we need God's desire, dedication, and determination to make it in this world. Philippians is Paul's joy letter to believers in Philippi, as well as for us today. The believers had enjoyed a special relationship with Paul. So to show how much he appreciated them, he wrote them a personal expression of joy, of love, and affection. In addition, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, Philippians is also a joyful book because it emphasizes the real joy of the Christian life. The key verse is rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Philippians 1, 4, and 4. 1, one, one and 4, sorry, excuse me. Saul was so zealous for his Jewish beliefs that he began a persecution campaign on anyone who believes in Christ. As Saul traveled to Damascus, pursuing Christians, he was confronted by the risen Christ and brought face to face with the truth of the gospel. Sometimes, we on the road, we all have our Damascus roads. But while we're on our way, we get stopped in our tracks. And here, Jesus stops Saul, breaks into his life in a spectacular manner. He used a light and a voice. After Saul's conversion, he had a remarkable experience on their road. Hearing a voice, but seeing no man. His name was changed from Saul to Paul. He had reason to forget what was behind. And what was behind him was hurting people whom 
who belong to Jesus. The Bible says, touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Paul made a profound declaration. He says, for me to live is Christ, but to die is gain. In other words, I'm going to receive more I, when I die than what I am right now. If I keep my eye, if I keep on keeping on. Paul was rooted and grounded in Jesus. And if we want our lives to excel, if we want our lives to expand, we got to be rooted and grounded in Jesus. In other words, we got to have a relationship with him. In a life dedicated to serving Christ, Paul had faced excru excruciating poverty and also abundant wealth. He learned whatever the circumstances, whether it's come from the mountaintop, down the valley, across the creek, under the bridge, he learned how to be content. He found real joy by focusing all his attention and energy on knowing Christ and obeying him. Everything else was secondary. Christ was first in his life. He has more zeal, so much that he considers everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ, Jesus, as Lord, for whose name's sake I have put all things and considered them rubbish that I may gain Christ and be favored in him. In other words, he spent time with Jesus. And if we want to if we want to really, really be in Jesus and all out for him, we got to spend time with him. It, 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 it's a must. We, we have to do it. We, we got to do it. Some things you just got to do. Some things you just have, that you should know about anyway. And he says I want to know more. I want to know more about this man called Jesus. I want to know more about his power of his resurrection and fellowship in sharing in his sufferings. I got to keep on keeping on so I can hold on a little while longer. And I say to each of us who listen on Facebook, YouTube, or, or whatever, so, whatever social media you're listening to tonight, keep on keeping on. Hold on to God's unchanging hand because if you trust him and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. He may not come when you want him, but when he shows up, he's always on time. And he's an on time God. Yes, he is. All of us, every last one of us, whether we're white, black, blue, green, yellow, red, all of us have done things for which we are ashamed. And we are in the tension or the pulling force or torn between what we have been and what we want to be. I've been there. I've been there. And I, I, I feel like I was pulled, being pulled apart. In other words, we just can't figure it out. We go up the hill, down the, in the valley, over in the tunnels, trying to figure this thing out. When all we got to do is get on our knees and say, Jesus, help me to keep on keeping.
keep it on. Because I know you're in charge. I know you have the power. I got the faith to believe that you can do anything in life that to help me out. And he promised never to leave us, never to leave us alone. Because our hope is in Christ, however, we can let go of our past guilt and look forward to what God can and will do and help us in our lives. Over in the book of it says, I have not seen nor ear heard. Neither has entered the heart of man the things that God has for those who love him. Just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Brothers and sisters, I count Philippians 3 and 13 says, I count not myself to have apprehended or have arrived. I ain't there yet. But if I keep on keeping on, I'm on my way. But one thing Paul says I do is Forgetting those things which are behind. Like the Israelites, they could be across the Red Sea. The Egyptians behind them, Red Sea in front of them, mountains on each side. They find themselves caught in the middle. They didn't look back. They marched forward. But there's a Red Sea out there. But they didn't know that God has something in store for them. Just like if we keep on keeping on, God has blessings in store for us. But we got to go through our trials, our tribulations, and they don't come instantly. We got to work through our trials and work through our tribulations. It says, and reaching to those things which are before. I press, there it is. Toward the mark. What's the mark? To gain Christ. To know Christ. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Jesus has everything that we need in him. Everything that we need. And all we got to do is get on our knees and say, Jesus, I need you every hour and every day. I don't know who I'm saying this to out there in, in social media, Facebook, but I'm telling you, keep on keeping on. The Lord will make a way. He promised the new believers. He, he said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Go on, hold on to your God's unchanging hand. And he will see you through. Well, I'm about ready to close this out. Since we have not arrived, since we are on our way, since we are struggling, trying to make it to the, to the mountaintop, trying to make it through these trials and troubles and tribulations, since we have not arrived yet, Paul says in number 1 Corinthians 13 and 12, we see through a glass darkly. It, 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 it's, it's a mist out there. We, 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 we're trying to look and we can't see it right now. We have questions that are unanswered. Worries that we're thinking about. We think we, 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 our, our minds are messed up. We're always thinking about how are we are going to make it the next day? One thing for sure. And that is this. The song matter says, we will understand it better by and by. Trials dark on every hand. 
and we cannot understand all the ways that God will lead us to that blessed promised land, but he guides us with his eye and we'll follow till we die and one day we'll understand it better by and by. I say to you tonight, keep on keeping on. Hang in there. Don't give up. Just hold on a little while longer. We need to keep hope alive. A lot of folk are dying now because of the lack of hope. Well, how do you get this? By growing in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Let Jesus come into your life. He wants to make your life, and he can do it, make your life brand new. But we got to give our lives to him and allow him to come into our hearts and change us inside out. The Bible says, be ye transformed, Romans 12. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and perfect will of God. We got to have a relationship with him. Where you can go in your closet, wherever it is. It could be in the bathroom, it could be wherever it is, in your car, where you and Jesus can can, can and talk one on one and 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 the joy that we share as we tell me there none other has ever known. You talking about a good time? Oh man. With Jesus alone. He'll 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 raise you up. He'll Bring, when, when you're outdoors, he'll bring you in. When you're up, he'll bring you down. When you're down, he'll bring you up. He'll, he'll, he'll take you by the hand and lead you and guide you in the way you have you go. Just keep on keeping on. It might get hard, some, and it will. It's going to get hard. But I dare you to trust him and never doubt he will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord. And look to the hills. The psalmist says, I, I look to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Realize that we are forgiven. See, some folk have a hard time forgiving. Some folk want to hold on to grudges. But, 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 but when God forgives you, he forgives you all the way. He said, after on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. They think they know, but they don't know. I forgive them. Realize. That we are forgiven. I don't care what you're doing in life. I don't care. I don't care what you're doing in life. What you're going through right now. You are forgiven. God forgives. And if we forgive, He'll forgive us. If we don't forgive, He won't forgive us. In Book of Matthew, that's Bible. Realize that we are forgiven. And then, don't stay in that same rut now. A lot, of, a lot of us get forgiven, and we go right back into the same mold that was in, the same people we used to hang around, and we find ourselves in that rut and can't get out. But I dare you to trust in Jesus. He'll pick you up, turn you around, put your feet on solid ground, put a, drop, put a song in your heart, Yes, he'll do it. Yeah, I know he will. Then move on to a life of faith and obedience. That's what it's all about, people. Yes, that's what it's all about. It ain't about gaining the whole world, wearing fancy suits, fancy dresses, fancy hats. It's all about knowing Jesus Christ for yourself. Because one day, we're going to leave this world. And all that stuff that we got in our lives is going to be gone. 
But if you got Jesus in your life, you're going to make it every step of the way. Look forward, y'all, to a fuller and more meaningful life in Jesus. Somebody wrote a song and said, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. John 10.10 10 says, the thief comes to steal and destroy. But the second half said, says, I come, Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it, how? More abundantly. Keep on keeping on. Galatians 6 and 9 says, and be not weary in well-doing. A lot of times we get tired, we feel like we ain't done nothing, we feel like our, our strength is gone, but I'll tell you what, and be not weary in well-doing. Because in due season, we shall reap if we don't faint, if we don't give up. Just hold on a little while longer. Now, that, that, there's a story about this young man, and, uh, and, and he, he had lost hope. And, and, and this person saw him, and he said, uh, hey, he said, what? Well, what are you doing? What are you pulling on? I, I, I got an imaginary rope. And every time I yank that rope, it gets in touch with Jesus. And when I, every, time I, every time I have a situation in my life, I just yank my rope. And, 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 and when Jesus hears about this, he sees me doing this, he blesses me beyond compare. Be authentic. Be real. Hang in there. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Be steadfast, unmovable. Give it all you got. Go against the odds. You can make it. Romans 8.37 says these words. Yet, King James, yet in all these things, we are what? More than conquerors through him who loved us. Yes, you might have missed, we all messed up, we all messed up, but we're still conquerors because Jesus loves us. He died for us on that old rugged cross out there on Calvary, shed his blood, was buried, rose from the dead, gone back to heaven, sitting right hand of the Father. Telling us where we have. The Bible says cast all your care on him because he cares for you. Yes, Jesus cares for everybody in this world. It may seem like he don't, but I tell you what, he'll bring you out of that trouble you're in right now. He opened he, he opened the windows of heaven and, and, and if, if, if we are if we do our part, guess what he'll do? He open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. That you won't have room to receive it. Give your step to Jesus. Let Jesus change your life. Come on. Come on to him. Come on to him. He wants to help you because if we keep on keeping on, he will. He will. Trust him. The Bible says trust him in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not your understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Hang in there, church. Hang in there, those listening on social media. Hang in there. Hold on to God's unchanging hand and keep on keeping on. No matter what happens, put in your mind, I'm not going to quit until I reach that prize. And what's the prize? Knowing Jesus. Knowing Jesus. What's the prize? Knowing who? Jesus. Jesus. And he will see you through. May God bless you. May he keep you. May his face shine upon you. 
May he give you strength for the, for the ones who are weak and weary. He'll pick you up. I know he will. Don't get me started in this place. He'll pick you up. Turn you around. Put your feet on solid ground. He'll have you walking on dry ground every day. Being blessed every day. If you keep on keeping on. I kid you not. I'm a living witness of what God can do. It is no secret what God can do. What he does for others, he'll do the same thing for you. With arms wide open, he'll pardon you. He promised never to leave you. Never leave you alone. May God bless you. May he keep you. Here's our prayer.